So my favorite part of the day is when my phone rings and I pick it up and it's somebody on the other end of the line that has a collection that they want to sell. And uh, it's great when people live in Vancouver and they can meet me in person. We can do a deal for cash face to face. But the reality of the business is millions of people with old hockey and baseball and CFL cards and collectibles live in other provinces and places across Canada. What I'm trying to get across here, folks, is that no matter where you live, if you have a collection, pucks, programs, autographs, cards, anything that's old and cool and historical to do with sports, and you're sitting there and you're in front of your computer and you're thinking, you know what, forget this. I don't want to sell this stuff on eBay. It's too much time and effort and hassle and risk. You can go online, you can go to my website at www.aasportscards.com, look at my website, see all of the collections I've bought, most importantly, see all of the collections that people have sent to me to sell because they don't want to do the work themselves. They would rather put everything in a box like this gentleman has done, ship it off to me, and once you leave the post office, your work is done. It comes to me, I get the collection, I email you or phone you to tell you that I have it. I need, uh, I, I drop everything. When people send me their collections in the mail, that takes the priority. If you're gonna go through the time and trouble to do that, you deserve the respect of me giving you all of my time and effort to uh, not make you wait. So this gentleman sent me this collection yesterday. Less than 24 hours later, I'm gonna go through the stuff and once we reach a deal, I'm gonna go to the uh, bank and I'm gonna send them a certified bank draft or I'm going to e-transfer him payment. That's a new wrinkle. If you're set up for online banking as most people are, I can pay you for your collection immediately. But what I was gonna add was, once you're on the website, it's best if you just call me. That cuts right to the chase, and uh, then we can discuss what you have. You tell me a little bit about your collection. We talk about a ballpark price, and then it's as simple as putting the stuff uh, you know, in a box, going to the post office, sending it to me, and your work is done. Now, this collection is not from the 50s and 60s, which is what I normally purchase through the mail. But what I wanted to make a video today to show that I definitely do buy hockey cards from the 70s and 80s. In fact, that's the bread and butter of my business. And um, this stuff is basically, from what I understand, going to be from a couple of years. It's going to be from 1980 and from 1981. And when it's from these years, you know, you're going to focus on a couple teams and the Oilers is the big team. I've opened up the first bag. I believe this is sorted by team. Right off the top, we've got several Glenn Anderson rookie cards. Five or six. Let's see if we can hit. I have no idea what's here, guys, by the way. Okay, so here's Paul Coffey. One two, three, four, five, six Paul Coffees. Interesting to see that one of them is just destroyed and one of them is in decent shape. The thing about the 80s is, is so much of it is in near mint mint. But again, I buy in, in every condition generally as long as it's not all torched. But again, we've got five or six Anderson, five or six Coffees. There's a Gretzky. Again, there's a lot of corner wear there. Gretzky's always seem to be handled. I think kids in the playground always liked handling his cards or showing their friends that they've pulled a Gretzky out of a pack. One, two, three, four Yari Curry rookies. Several Kevin Lowe rookies. There's Messier second year. Five, about seven of those. Eight, seven or eight of those. Um, Bogue rookie. I'm not sure if we're going to hit the 8081s. That might be in a different bag. There's some Gretzky in actions. So the Oilers are loaded. And, you know, when it comes to this stuff, I buy 1980s hockey cards in two ways. Complete sets. And if you don't have sets, it has to be a large accumulation, as this gentleman has. Let's open one more bag. This is the Bruins from the same year. Several second-year Ray Borks. That'll be the biggest card in here. Again, I was looking for 8081. I know that 8081 is in here. Like there's the wings, for example. Um, there's the Islanders. And if I can see the Oilers, maybe we'll open that bag. But I just wanted to give a general overview of what's going on here. I'm gonna finish going through the collection. I'm gonna put a retail value on it that I think I can reasonably expect to get online when I go to sell it. Last bag, guys. 
I'm going to contact the gentleman who sent it to me. If he accepts the offer, I'm going to pay him by e-transfer or a certified bank draft immediately. And well, there's a Gretzky All-Star. Again, conditions not optimum, but I can use this stuff in quantity. Okay, there's a Messier rookie. So we're going to have some value here. The point is, again, I want to buy collections from across Canada and I want you to deal with me. So again, if you feel that you don't have a buyer in your area and you don't want to spend the time doing it yourself, 604-726-1774 or go to my website at www.aasportscards.com. Thank you for watching.